What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It is your Earth Master here on this beautiful weekend, Saturday, March 12, 2022, about uh, 2.37 p.m. California time. Latest quake out there on the Earthquake 3D globe. Uh, looks like a 3.3 in Texas and also a 4.0 into the South America region, seeing quite a swarm of activity up and down the Peru-Chile Trench over the last 24 hours. Also up here into the North American continent here. Quite a bit of activity from the north part all the way down here to the South uh, South America region. Let's start up here in Alaska where we've seen a 5.1 earthquake strike around the Cook Inlet area uh, earlier this morning at uh, 88.4 kilometers. Uh, if you remember, uh, last night we were looking at this pretty good swarm of activity. The swarm looks like it's died off a little bit around the Cook Inlet area, but uh, uh, prior in the day yesterday, we're looking at quite a bit of movement in the microquake department here, uh, ultimately leading up to this 5.1 that we're seeing today in the Alaska region there at the uh, Cook Inlet region. Uh, aside from that, a little bit of activity up around the Denali area with some swarming and uh, continued earthquake activity in that region of the state. West Coast, Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet. Remember the Cascadia subduction zone uh, back into the active trimmer stage. Go ahead and check out the trimmer map from last night, which was a pretty good size number, 266 epicenters of trimmer, mostly along the southern end of the Cascadia. This is about day number seven of trimmer activity uptick, kind of putting a, a, a uh, end to the quiet spell that we were looking at there for a couple months. Um, so we'll see what tonight looks like. But no movement up here being reported by the USGS at all, and that's a little on the strange side. Nothing, zip zero. Uh, from about northern california northward into washington uh, one little earthquake here uh, around the big bend area this is from last night at 2.1 but uh, along the coast here and northward pretty quiet according to the usgs uh, a little bit of activity around the uh, cobb mountain region this place is almost always active here around the hydrothermal operations which are numerous throughout the mountains here with their little power operations and whatnot there in the uh, uh, clear lake volcanic field uh, working our way down south here, a little bit of activity around the Ridgecrest area. Not as active, though, as the past couple days. Some movement within the last hour or so, 1.7, and a little stretch of activity to the west. Lake Isabella area southward, seeing a little bit of swarming out here around the uh, boatfish, podfish area of California. About six kilometers for some of these earthquakes. Uh, just a little, little bitty swarm of activity out there. And uh, some movement down into the southern part of the state also a little bit of activity on each side of the plate boundary here into the uh, southern california region rest of the country uh some movement around pecos texas swarm has automatically stopped up here around the lincoln montana area we were looking at a pretty good swarm of activity here over the last couple days in this area of uh, montana here's the all magnitudes we can see a little bit more uh, in terms of microquakes and the multitudes, about 16 earthquakes or so. Uh, most of it was about two days ago uh, in the area of Lincoln, Montana. Since then, like I mentioned, nothing, zip zero today. So a complete halt of activity there in Montana for now. Some movement around the Stanley, Idaho area as well. Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone map, see if we got any uh, movement kicking up here, which we don't. All appears to be quiet across the board. Really no microquakes, no... Uh, no abnormal activity to report. Maybe one little earthquake down here around the Flag Ranch area. Uh, and also the Pitchstone Plateau. Seeing a couple uh, spikes here on the map. On the graph here showing uh, some localized earthquake activity there at Yellowstone. But otherwise, pretty quiet uh, in that region of Yellowstone National Park. Uh, the rest of the world. Uh, looking at the Middle America Trench here. We're still seeing uh, quite a bit of movement there off the coast of Guatemala. Uh, into the Middle America Trench, a couple fours kicking up here. And also the Puerto Rico area, seeing a little swarm once again up around the Puerto Rico Trench. The All Magnitudes map here doesn't do it uh, too much more justice. Just some southwest uh, Puerto Rico area uh, swarming as typical in that region. The uh, South America region, even though the um, USGS only shown a couple earthquakes here, including a 5.1, EMSC showing uh, quite a bit of uptick here on the Earthquake 3D globe, including uh, quite a few threes and whatnot in that area of the state of the um, the country there, South America and the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, down here into the South Sandwich Islands, 4.9 and a 5.2. Uh, 
uh, within the last 24 hours. Let's see what we've got out here into the Pacific. Uh, not a whole lot going on. 13 earthquakes around the Big Island, just mostly on the southeast region. One little earthquake up here around the Mauna Loa area with a 1.7. A little bit of declining activity here along the Kermadec Islands area. Just a 5.2 recorded from the USGS in that area. And some movement throughout the uh, Indonesia and the Java Trench area with the 5.3 uh, in that area of the world. Otherwise, not a whole lot going on out here today. Did have a 4.5 uh, way over here in France. 10 kilometer uh, earthquake, that, or yeah, 10 kilometer depth for that earthquake. Looks like it was felt by uh, a few folks out there in the region. Let me check out the uh, historical data out here. I don't think we've seen too much in the way of uh, earthquake activity out here as far as historical movement goes. But uh, either way, a 4.5 kicking up there uh, earlier today see what else we got uh, man there's just not a whole lot going on in the earthquake department today far as major movement goes volcano activity latest update there from the Kilauea uh, volcano shows uh, orange and the watch level uh, the summit eruption of the Kilauea volcano within the crater continued over the past 24 hours, all recent activity has been confined to the smaller active lake within the crater. And of course, uh, no indications of activity migrating elsewhere. So uh, looks like, um, yeah, about the same. Been uh, ongoing and offgoing and continuing for a little while there at uh, Kilauea Volcano. But uh, otherwise, no major changes going on there in the area. Uh, solar weather activity, of course, the last one well, uh, pretty good flare kickoff last night to M2.2. The uh, K index looks like it's dropped off sharply from last night. We did have a G1 storm kicking up. Uh, looks like that is forecasted again uh, on the 14th, where we could see a pretty good size uh, G2 class storm kick up here with KP indexes up around the 6th level and 80% uh, chance um, of storming at higher latitudes with 40 percent chance in the mid latitude so uh, looks like uh that will be something to look forward to right around the 14th we'll see if that uh holds true as far as forecasting and whatnot goes recently with solar observations they've been i don't know it seems like they've only been right about 20 percent of the time uh so the sun can uh surprise us and it can just uh just um Kind of put a damper on these guys that's forecasting here for solar weather. All right, let's see what else we got here, guys. I think that's about it. I uh, hope everyone enjoys their day. We'll, we'll be back a little bit later this evening. Uh, we'll jump on, do an update video. Looks like uh, another earthquake coming in here to the uh, Vanuatu area, 4.4 at uh, 265 kilometers. Let's check out the EMSC model here while we're on it. Uh, let's show you guys that uh, pretty good swarm of movement into the South America region. Looks like another earthquake there coming in. Uh, the latest quake there on the map within the last hour, 4.0. And uh, let's see, let's bring down these magnitudes a little bit here. You can see uh, quite a bit of threes. And uh, like I say, a whole bunch of swarming going on here into the center part of the Peru Chile Trench. That uh, definitely looks a pretty active today that's for sure up here around the middle america trench as well but uh, more specifically down here in the south america region kind of watching that area pretty closely and uh, we'll see what happens in the coming days earthquakes canada i don't believe there's anything significant going on up there but we do like to check to our neighbors to the north here looks like one aftershock following that uh, earthquake there a couple days ago in the bc area here, Fort St. John, a 1.7. That's about it. No further red circles on the map here. And um, looks pretty quiet into the North American continent here for now. All right, guys. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Going to hang out here with the uh, Missy Mimi's and uh, maybe put a movie on. I don't know. We'll see what's going on here. 
Got some clouds and some wind kicking up here in California today, so not the best day to be outside uh, in the garden or, or getting the suntan today. So we're going to kick back inside and just relax and enjoy the day. So and hope everyone else does as well. We'll chat you guys a little bit later on this evening, folks. Take care.